Hello, Brenton with All at Octane here. In this video, I'm going to open up three of the brand new Hot Wheels team transports that I was able to find on the pegs. So this set has the Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti, the Fleet Flyer. With Fleet Flyer, uh, yeah, this is an awesome set. So on the back, you can see which three you're trying to hunt down. Again, Alfa Romeo 155 V6 Ti with Fleet Flyer. We've got the 61 Impala with the 72 Chevy Ramp Truck. Now they actually did make this a licensed Chevy, uh, like C10 or I guess K10, depends, um, or 250. K20. Anyway, and then we've got the 70 Rover P6 Group 2 with the Hot Wheels Rally Hauler. And again, that's an unlicensed model, which is awesome because they can put a lot of different vehicles to it. So we'll go ahead and open up the Alfa Romeo. And I really like the red and black on this one. I think this kind of harkens back. We've seen a Porsche. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's plastic. I was going to say, I thought that might have been just like tampo work. All right. I just really like those rims. These tires are fantastic on Fleet Flyer here. Or, yeah, Fleet Flyer. There's the lift gate. Silver, great tampa work all across. And I think, yep, I heard it. There it is, there's plastic inside. Now we can actually put the car in. But let's take a look at the car first. I think this is the second time maybe we've seen this. This was in the Hot Wheels Boulevards. It's getting interesting how each brand, Matchbox and Hot Wheels, is reusing cars and putting them in just different sets without even re even retampoing them sometimes. They just, that's what they do. So, okay, I was gonna say there should be a little space in there. There we go. Yeah, it fits. If it fits, it ships, right? All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and open up the 61 Impala with the 72 Chevy ramp truck. Yeah, that's, that's epic. So glad I was able to find this. This is a, one of those castings that I feel like a lot of people are gonna pick up uh, because there are a lot of ramp truck out there, like the uh, roadkill ramp truck. I'm sure Finnegan will probably receive a ton of these in his fan mail, no doubt. Oh, this one's kind of cool. It's got an actual uh, groove down the center of it. It's not a full flat base. Oh, those wheels, that's awesome. 73 c20 okay so it is it's a c20 i have i, th I said k because k stands for four-wheel drive c stands for two-wheel drive so your two-wheel drive your c20 because it's a 2500 truck or a two or um what is it three-quarter ton truck so if you have ton three-quarter ton one ton truck this would be the three-quarter ton truck rear wheel drive not four-wheel drive so it's a 73 c20 Okay, yeah, so that answers that. Absolutely stunning. I have a feeling, like I said, a lot of people will probably be getting this just to customize because it actually fits a little bit more to scale than the uh, normal 64th scale trucks. Or maybe not, maybe it does. Maybe we've seen that. Anyway, let's take a look at this Impala. El Segundo Chevrolet, dish wheels, it's a circle track vehicle. It's definitely not a dragster. 409 cubic inches. It's nice kind of baby blue, powder blue. 61. It's a 61 Impala. So that works, and that means you have to have the triple tail lights. Yep, that's cool. They didn't tampo the uh, license plate, but that makes kind of sense. They tampoed the logo the Chevrolet logo up front and the headlights, which again makes sense because this is a racer. All right, let's go ahead and look at the last one of the bunch, the 70 Rover P6 Group 2 with the Hot Wheels Rally Hauler. And these rally cars are awesome. Do you think we will ever see the Ford uh, Escort Rally, or not Escort, is it? No, Ford Focus Rally, like the Ken Block kind? That would be awesome in a premium version. On this, with this, that would be sweet with like a, a Hoonigan livery to it. Uh, let's take a look at the van. That's pretty legit. And this one should hit right up. It does. Is that a little fire extinguisher? I don't really know what that is. 
But the trailer is super nice in this set. It's always nice to get these on the Hitchin Hall. Well, oh, that's Matchbox. The uh, Team Transports. And then we've got the Rover here. Check that out. Fantastic. Nice roll cage inside. Again, I think we've seen these. So they took the Boulevard of this one and the Alfa Romeo, and uh, they just put them into the Team Transports. I'm not mad at it, though. It's cool. Good bunch of vehicles. There you have it. I, I really do think. I mean, it's kind of kind of on the bandwagon, but yeah, this thing is awesome. This this pairing is fantastic. Uh, I would imagine they're definitely going to do a Chevy. I would imagine a gasser of some sort, either the Nova or the 55. They'll probably put with this next. That's going to be my guess. I mean, I, I don't know what why you wouldn't. So. I have a feeling the next time we'll see this truck, it's going to be with one of the gassers, either the 55 or the Nova. But there you have it. There are the brand new team transports I was able to find on the pegs. Have you been able to find these on the pegs? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.